Hey guys, welcome to Ultimate Survival Tips. I'm David. Today I'm going to show you a really cool way to take birch bark only and start a sustainable fire in just a few seconds. Coming up next. So this time of the year it's really easy to find birch bark because all the leaf cover is off of the trees. But we're going to head towards these white birch and I'll show you guys how to harvest birch without harming the tree. So right here we've got a white birch. You can just peel this outer bark layer off the tree and you're not going to hurt this tree doing that. That's the best sustainable way to do this. Although I know there's some dead birch around here. We're going to go find that because I want a nice big chunk of it. You don't want to cut into a tree and then pull the outer and inner bark the whole way around that tree. A good solution is to find a piece of birch that's not laying on the ground. You can see because of the oils in this birch, it's still relatively intact. So we're gonna use this as a uh, base layer for our fire to keep it off of the snow. And we're gonna use some of this to process into tinder. So the big thing I wanna get across is when you're hiking or backpacking, or even just going out for the day in the woods and you wanna start a fire, when you see birch, just grab some, uh, just grab a handful. It's gonna make the world a difference in starting your fire. So I think I've got enough to get this fire going, but one tip I wanna give you guys is make sure that when you get your fuel or your tinder or kindling, especially when it's wet or snowy out, you wanna make sure you get that off of places where it's not in contact with the ground. So this stuff was perfect leaning up against that tree. All right, let's go get a fire going. Birch has an oil in it called Batula. The Batula oil is very volatile and it, it burns really good. We need three things to get a fire. We need air, oxygen, that's a given, heat, and we need fuel. Also, these rocks are super cold, so I wanna make sure that I put a birch bark layer on top of here just to give us a little bit of an insulating value between our fire and the rock. All right, so the first thing we need to do is take some outer bark and make a tinder bundle. You take some super fine stuff, and you process it, you just really work it and process it down into its finest of fines. And then I'm gonna be using my MSK1 here today. So it's nice to have a knife that you can further process things down. So I'm gonna do, since this is not as fine as I would like it, I'm gonna use this for my secondary tinder bundle. Once I get a little fire going, I'm gonna put this on top. So I'll show you the second way to make tinder just out of this bark alone. So basically we want a, a fairly sizable spot. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start to process and peel this bark up. Basically we're gonna make, we're gonna feather this bark into a bunch of fines, make a little pile. And remember because this is infused with Batula oil, it should go up pretty easy. Now the final thing I like to do is for kindling, I like to peel strips. Just like that, process some down a little bit and I'm just gonna set those aside over here. Anywhere from a quarter inch to a full inch thick like that one. We've got a lot of resources here now. We're gonna use the butt end pummel on the MSK-1 and the MSK-1 ferrocerium rod. I'm gonna lay that right down in there. And we're just gonna scrape off some of this ferrocerium to start. Get the heat up, there we go. Okay, now we're using our secondary tinder bundle. We're not gonna burn my coat. Now I'm gonna move all this into the center area. You can actually see the oil is coming off of there. So I've got some smaller strips here in reserve. And now I'm gonna start getting some other pieces on here and turning them sideways to reduce the surface area and get the fire going on them. Gonna add some of our other kindling, some bigger pieces. So at this point, we've been at this for a minute, maybe two minutes. But as you can see, that birch is really kicking in now. And we just about have a sustainable fire. I'm gonna start adding some big stuff here, but we're good to go. Since I have so much birch here, I'm just gonna pull this stuff aside and save this for later to get this fire going again, just like this in a short period of time. So that's it. That's how to use birch to start us a... <laughs> okay guys, so that's it. That's how to use birch in a survival situation or even camping or backpacking to start a sustainable fire with just birch bark all by itself in a short period of time. Hope you enjoyed this. In the comments below, go ahead and tell me your favorite fire starting tip. All right guys, thanks for watching. Ah!
For upcoming knife and survival gear videos, make sure you subscribe to this channel. For your convenience, I've included links to all the gear that I've mentioned in the video description on YouTube. Just click the Show More tab below. For daily survival tips, cool hacks, knife videos, and our weekly Facebook Live gear giveaways, visit Ultimate Survival Tips on Facebook. And don't forget to grab your free monthly survival emag at ultimatesurvivaltips.com. And for more gun videos, survival adventures, and gear reviews, check out the Ultimate Survival Tips show on Carbon TV. Okay, this is David. I hope to see you on the other side. And remember, be prepared because you never know. Okay, stand around,